Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is a continuance in finding a good load for the 6.8 Western using the Barnes 155 LRX. My previous videos uh, using this bullet, I was using Hodgson's H4831 shortcut, and I had mediocre results with it. Uh, I think that powder has a little too slow of a burn rate for these lighter bullets. Uh, because of that, I opted to try Winchester Stay Ball 6.5. This is a ball powder marketed as a temperature and sensitive powder, and uh, it has a much faster burn rate than the H4831 shortcut. Uh, my initial test with this uh, is looking pretty promising. I put together three different powder charges. My best powder charge resulted in a velocity of 28.23, uh, standard deviation of 6.1, and extreme spread of 11 in a group size of 0.46 inches. Uh, so I want to continue load development with this powder and I will take you guys along the journey uh, as I do uh, this load development. Just like the previous video using the H4831 shortcut, let me show you what my plans are. And this video is specifically going to be uh, initial load development with this powder and then I will go out and do a range session and that will be a separate video. All right, my plan going forward with the initial load development is going to include a charge weight of 57.0 on up to 60.0. On Hodgson's website, using a 150 grain bullet, they recommend an initial charge weight of 52.5 grains uh, to a max charge of 57.1. So. Previously, just like I did previously, I'm going to start at the upper end and work my way up to um, well over the uh, max charge weight. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, please use the published data that Hodgkin's recommends. Uh, if you've never worked with this bullet or powder before, that is what I would recommend. And uh, it'll just keep you uh, kind of in that safe range until you figure out what works well in your rifle. Uh, we're going to use my base to ogive measurement of 2.296, which produces an overall length of 2.948. Uh, for those that don't remember, my max magazine overall length is 2.950. So since I'm at the mercy of my magazine length, since it's my gun is magazine fed, uh, that is the number that we are working with. Uh, so I'm gonna load these powder charges up at this one depth. We'll go out and shoot them for groups, extreme spread and standard deviations. And based off of the data that we get there, I can come back and tweak the seating depth to see if I can't fine tune uh, the group sizes.
are good to go. These look really nice, um, and I hope they shoot as well as they look. Uh, previously, I had already worked up my first three powder charges uh, for my preliminary, preliminary test, and those powder charges were 57 grains, 57 and a half grains, and 58 grains. These are continuance on from 58 and a half grains on up to 60 grains. Uh, just like in the previous video where I was with this bullet using H4831 shortcut, I'm using repurposed factory brass. Uh, this is Winchester brass that they make for browning, so it's head stamped as browning. Um, and all this brass has been, uh, you know, annealed, prime trimmed, ready to go. Uh, so the next video, you guys will see me out at the range shooting these for groups and uh, numbers on the lab radar. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you at the shooting range in the near future.